But the coup de grace came in the regular season finale, where Duke held a seemingly insurmountable lead in the closing minutes. Duke has an eight-point lead with 17 seconds left. It looks like Duke may be about ready to pull off a stunning upset here. Then things started to happen. Bobby Jones goes out and makes two free throws. Next free throw is up and good also. It is 86 to 80. We steal the ball, lay it in. Mike should make the inbound play, bounce it in, recovered by Walter Davis underneath the Kuster. Layup is good by Kuster. It's 86 to 82. It's a hold everything. We can still do this. Fleischer will make the inbound play. He's running the baseline. Duke just simply couldn't get the ball in bounds. Knocked away off Armstrong. They're out of control. No time. He left off the clock. They battle for it inside. Jones has got it. Put it up to two. It's 86 to 80. When they finally did get in the bounds, Pete Kramer missed a free throw. It's missed. Now the Seth Raymond coming out of it. Kramer with three seconds left to play in the game. We're down two with three seconds to go. Coach Smith was looking at us and saying, isn't this fun? You guys are going to win the game. And he called the play out, and Walter knew to go to the spot. Gets it to Walter Davis. Two, one. Walter takes the shot. Oh! celebration in Carmichael Auditorium. The Duke players were, to say the least, stunned. The Tar Heels went on to easily win the game in overtime. And one of the most dramatic comebacks we have ever witnessed. The insufferable defeat sank the Blue Devils to the bottom of the ACC in 1974, where they remained in 75 and 76. Worse yet, they were in the midst of losing 16 of 17 to the Tar Heels. The Duke Carolina rivalry really went on hiatus. Dean Smith was just launching one 25-win season after another. Let's go, go! And Duke was a little bit of an afterthought. It was 